What is good, Mexican planners? Yo, today is going to be the final day of the three part series on the house renovations and us, you know, getting things ready to sell. Um, so, today I'm actually going to give you guys a sneak peek into the house, let you check it out, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So coming into the house, the first thing you notice is this grand stairway and the ceilings in this room in this foyer is probably 20 feet high or so. Um, you're greeted by the chandelier in this foyer. We have hardwood floors, dark hardwood throughout the entire house. This room on the right as you enter the house is our piano room. And the cool thing about this piano, which is for sale, by the way, if you know someone in Atlanta looking for a piano, this piano is for sale. It has a player on it, so it'll actually play itself. You can have it play popular music or classical or whatever you like. It's connected to the Internet and this thing will will play um, all the music for you, whether you have a player in the house or not. But this is the piano room and this room is probably 14 by 16 or 14 by 14 it's all the rooms in this house are pretty big and the ceilings are high um, we're probably looking at 12 to 14 foot ceilings i think in or 12 foot ceilings in all the rooms i'm going to take you to the other side first so this is the right hand side and i know it's a bit disjointed but i kind of want to um, save some of the surprises for last or some of the the big features for last so here is the dining room so to the left of the staircase as you can see here, here's the staircase and the front door to the left of the staircase is the formal dining room. And one of the things that we really loved about this house is that you have the French doors to kind of close off each room. So here you can uh, shut the French doors and close off the dining room or we can shut the doors to the back steps or even just to either side of the hallway and shut off the complete front side of the house which is nice. So if you have people come over that they're not too familiar, you can kind of close down the house and uh, um, or open it up so that, you know, folks can not see your entire house. Um, here we have the breakfast area. So this is our our breakfast table and, and you can see the back stairwell leading to uh, upstairs. So that's the opposite of what you saw in the front. Um, one of the things we absolutely love and just it's not a feature of the house, but it's something that we have here that gets a lot of use is this Pac-Man machine. And this might actually make it to Mexico. So if we decide to bring some things, this lady right here might actually make it. It's a Miss Pac-Man machine with like 42 different games on it. Um, and it has the centipede wheel. So you can play things like centipede or anything that uses that rollerball, you can play it. So that is one of the features that we love about, you know, just one of the things that we have that we love. Um, this room is huge. So this room acts as kind of, you know, a gathering spot. And a lot of the furniture that we had in here is gone. Uh, we just have our really old, you know, breakfast table that we'll eat at most of the time or sometimes. And then my wife has her, her productivity center, her desk and computer and what have you. Um, here we have our kitchen and the kitchen has granite countertops a brand new cooktop that we put in recently. So this is one of the projects that we had. The counter, the cooktops, flooring and painting are some of the major projects that we did in this house uh, in the last four weeks. So um, as you can imagine, it's been completely, you know, we've touched every surface in this house, which is, you know, uh, just a task, right? Because you have to move all your stuff out of closets and what have you. and you have dust flying everywhere. It's just been a pain, but I think it really turned out nice and um, that it came out, you know, really well. So here is the mud room slash laundry room. It's a big room. You have your washer and dryer here. You have a, you know, a mud room sink that you can, you know, do stuff, a utility sink. And then off of this mud room, is one of the half a baths. This house features uh, five full baths and two half a baths. And both of the half a baths are on the main level, which we are on now. 
and they um, they are you know ones off at either end of the house really at e either end of the main level this is just a view of the backyard from the mud room you can see uh, the deck the big old deck I told you about the pool is back there somewhere in the background etc so this deck as I was telling you pretty much runs the length of the main level of the master level which is why I was telling you it's so big because from the mud room the kitchen area or the family room you can access this deck um, and then you just have a tremendous view lots of natural light in this house which is cool because you just have you know good lighting um, so we're walking now down the hall we just left the kitchen the breakfast area etc and now we are walking come into the door this is the family room so this is where the magic happens this is where we end up spending a lot of our time here in this family room this is you know our big comfy sectional and I'm kind of walking behind it uh, we used to have a much larger TV in this room it was like a 72 inch TV old school HD but then it it, it started having problems so we replaced it with a 65 inch but because this room is so big that that 65 inch looks small this room is 20 by 20 and most people would call this like a great room so here is that deck again I was telling you about the patio the deck um, and how you can access that so this room is like 20 by 20 um, and it features a fireplace we actually again um, painted that fireplace this is the only room where we painted the fireplace and I think so I think it looks really really good with uh with all the wood accent this room also has like a mini bar which is behind it um and there we go at the front door and i'm sorry guys for some of the junk we are in, you know in process of moving around but um here is the other half a bath that we were just talking about so one half a bath was about 30 feet down that way and here's the other half a bath that is on the other end of of the house just outside of the master bedroom and one of the things I wanted to do was uh, put a door up right here right I always thought it'd be pretty neat to have a door to separate you know the master suite in general from the family room and um, but you do have a door to the master suite but I, I thought it would just be cool to separate that half a bath as well um, but we, we never did so here's the master suite and I apologize for the scant furniture again we have sold all of our stuff but here's the master suite and this is a, a really large room as well again all these rooms are like 14 by 16 um, we had a huge massive bed set that was in here so this room has three large walk-in closets those two that used to be my casual clothes closet and then I had one just for my business suits and what have you and then my wife has a massive closet here which we're not opening any closets and showing you those things so here is the master bathroom one of the things that we absolutely love is the fact that we have double vanities but each vanity is on its own side of the bathroom and so if you look here my wife has her side and I have my side and that's one of the features we absolutely love about this master bathroom plus the big garden tub there's the water closet again with great views of the pool in the backyard from the garden tub and the reason why we pretty much occupied this room is this huge huge shower so this shower you can lay on that bench or lay across that bench and um, fit like five people in there if you wanted to but this shower was just an absolute bomb we loved that shower and that was one of the reasons why this was the master that we chose now this house actually has two different master bedrooms and this is the master on the main um, as you'll see later that there is another master um, in this house so we're walking out of the master we're coming back through the family room and up to the front stairs so let's go up the front stairs so here we are we're going to go up these front stairs here and 
as we come up the front of the stairs, so here we are now at the front of the house, up the stairs, we get to the four kids' rooms. So here is the bedroom of our youngest one. And, you know, it's a pretty big room as well. All the rooms are, are huge. You'll hear me say that time and time again, but um, every room has its own bathroom. Oop. There's no light in here. So all the rooms have, you know, their own bathrooms as well. And closet. So this is the first room we'll get to. Coming out of this room, we get to that other room I was telling you. This is the second master, right? So this master actually has another fireplace in it um, or has the fireplace. So this is the master with the fireplace and it has three ginormous closets. So this is closet number one. And I'm not going to open them all, but this one was fairly clean. So this is uh, closet number one. That closet over there is exactly the same. Here again, you have views of the pool. So from, from just about every vantage point of the house, you can see the pool and the manicure, manicure backyard. <clears throat> and then you have the other master bath bathroom. So this is the master bathroom, second master bathroom, and it has double vanities. So there's two vanities in here. There's a shower. And a nice garden tub and then you had this other massive closet so this closet has a lot of stuff in it but you have this other massive closet that is in the bathroom so this is you know behind the doors in the master bathroom so it has three massive closets in this room all right walking into the third bedroom on this level and this room is pretty empty you can see this room is just a you know a great big old room but these rooms on this side they share <laughs> this gigantic bathroom so here you have you know this great big bathroom where you have probably five to six feet of just chill space you can put a sofa in here um, and hang out you have your garden tub, your bathroom, double vanities, a shower. And then this room has, it's another massive closet inside the bathroom. Coming out of here, back into the two rooms that share the bathroom are identical except for one has a view of the front the other has a view of the pool and the deck and again i don't think i showed you the closet in the other room but you know full walk-in closets in every room All right, so that is, we are on the second level, or I would, I would call it the third level if you are counting from the very bottom. Let's go up to the upper room. If anybody watched that show Life, you know one of my favorite things is they, they would say, we're going to the upper room. So here we are in our upper room. <laughs> In this room, of all the rooms, this is a massive room. Uh oh, I turned the lights out. So this room is just over 400 square feet and it's a bonus room, but it's air conditioned and heated. And it's just a massive, massive room. This was at, at one point my kid's game room 
where we had all the game game set up, the Super NES, the Dreamcast, the Nintendo 64, Playstations, all of my old games, they were all set up here. And we had this big tube television <laughs> that they would sit here and play. We had a sofa and some other stuff. And then on that end, I actually had a photography studio, which I'll probably drop a photo um, of what that looked like for you guys to see. But there, here's the equipment. Here's the photography studio stuff. So I could do portraits and all kinds of stuff, but I would just do it. It was a hobby for me. And that was set up on that half of the room. And then this half of the room was the game room. But this is a huge room. It's a great bonus room. Um, before I actually set up our theater room, this was our, you know, this was the staging room for all of that, just to kind of get an idea of, you know, how the electronics would work and all that stuff before I put it in downstairs. So we are on the fourth floor, which is the upper room coming down from the upper room. Now this house has one weird thing and I think I may have figured out the other day what it was for. If you look across, you see this balcony <laughs> and we've used it for like Christmas decorations, Christmas trees and what have you, but it has a balcony that you can only get to with like a 20 foot ladder. But what I think that landing is for, as I was cleaning the chandelier the other day, I think that landing is for cleaning that chandelier. So you swing the chandelier over to the landing and then you can clean it. I think I didn't test that, but that's how I think. That's what I think. So coming down the back steps, we have this gigantic window and it gives you a great view of the entire, pretty much the entire backyard. So in the deck, it's a rainy dreary day here in Georgia. It is only like 63 degrees outside which is ridiculous for mid-May. This is, I don't know where this weather's coming from, but it is absolutely crazy. All right, so let's go down to the first floor, which is the basement level. And we're gonna hang a left at the basement. So coming down the stairs of the basement, as you can see there, we take a left and here is a pretty large room. This was my wife's craft room. So you can see the sewing machine over there. So this is where she did all her arts and crafts. And it was kind of like her Zen room at one point, her meditation room. And through that door is the second garage. I don't think I showed you the first garage, but the first garage was off of the um, kitchen and the second garage. So now we're entering the man cave area. So this is the pool room or the game room. And we used to have a poker table over there in that corner was a poker table. This is where it would all go down. If you, it was a fight on or a Super Bowl. You could have it on that television there, as well as in the theater room. But nice, uh, my old housing pool table just recently sold um, two days ago. And they're coming to pick it up this weekend. So it's getting real. Here is the test kitchen. So you guys have heard me talk about this coffee machine quite a bit. This is my Jura coffee machine. Love it, love it, love it. It is an espresso machine that grinds the beans right before it makes the coffee. So you got fresh beans, you put them in there, it grinds them up for you and it makes you a cup of coffee. Delicious. But this was the test kitchen for a business I was gonna open, which was a coffee tea bar. Um, and so I used to have way more canisters of, of containers of tea, but that's all loose leaf tea in there. Um, and I was thinking about opening a tea bar at one point. So this has, you know, a space for a refrigerator. Um, of course you have a sink, a microwave, cabinets, and then you could drop a cooktop over here if you'd like. 
and this is a kitchen down in the basement. As I told you, this is this door leads to our garage, but that's probably the room we haven't touched yet, so we're not going in there. And so here is the bathroom for the basement. It is a very large bathroom. You have your, your toilet and everything there, and then you have you know a bathtub and shower, but the view of this room is my koi pond. So if you remember the other day when I was like, hey, you know, I would let you guys see the inside. Well, this is where we were standing just outside of the other door in the koi pond. So this is a great place to look. So even on a day like today where it is um, just nasty and ugly outside, you could come sit in this room if you really wanted to, a cup of coffee and hang out at the koi pond and see the fish. They're all chilling today because it's cold. I feel like it's cold enough to see my, you know, to see your breath, but it's probably not that cold. Uh, but it is not exactly warm, that's for sure. So this is the outdoor room. And it's a it's a pretty large area as you if you've seen before in the other videos. But this is the outdoor room that leads out from the walkout basement. All right. So we, when we walked in, we came to the left of the stairs and we saw the, the, the piano room. I'm sorry, we saw the uh, game room. We saw the kitchen, the bathroom. We skipped the, the, we skipped the, the um, garage that's down here. We saw my wife's creative room. And we're gonna go this way, back past the creative room. and we're gonna go over to my office. So on the other side of the steps, this is my office. And I'm sorry for all the cables and everything, but this is where the magic happened, right? So for many, many years, I worked from a home office and this is it. Um, we were, I was all set up down here and it's a large room. Again, it could be an office, it could be a bedroom. If you have someone living downstairs, you know, this could be a whole nother house for them. It's about 2000 square feet down here. All right, so here we are in the theater room. We have, you know, uh, nine theater seats in here. There's four on the back, three in the middle, and then two up front. And then we have um, one of the things that I absolutely love are the two love sacks, which are the best bean bags ever. Um, love sacks with, you know, the these are the oversized sack with the uh, cup holders and the ottoman and all of that stuff, but the screen in this theater room is 110 inches, um, and it's a Stewart Cinema screen. So this is the same screen that you're watching if you know you hang out at the movie theater. It's the same screen that they had there at the movie theater. So it's a 110 inch Stewart Cinema screen. 7.1 surround sound speakers just an incredible experience i mean it's like being right at the movies you're in your own movie theater here well that's the house folks i hope you enjoyed it if you know somebody in atlanta that's looking for a house this sucker's listed so what was your favorite feature of the house leave me comments below and let me know what your favorite feature of the house was all right so that's the house folks i appreciate you watching until next time makes it plans monty i'm out